Moving on to the next example, if y is equal to x to the power of 4a plus 3b over x to the power of a minus 2b, where a and b are just any real number, show that the derivative of that function is equal to 3a plus 5b in brackets times x to the power of 3a plus 5b minus 1. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One way is a pretty simple way where we can just use the power of a function rule and then the other way is going to be longer and we're going to use the product rule. So the first way, the quicker way, is that we can just simplify y because notice how we have two exponents with the same base x. So when we have x to the power of something divided by x to the power of something, we can just subtract those exponents. So we'd have y equals x to the power of 4a plus 3b, and then we're subtracting that exponent in the denominator. Okay, so now we got y equals x to the power of 4a minus a is just 3a, and then 3b minus negative 2b, that would just give us positive 5b. And now notice how we just have y equals x to the power of 3a plus 5b, which is the same as this function here. And now we can just apply the power or the, uh, yeah, the power rule on this because a and b are just any real number. So the power rule, when we find the derivative, what do we do? We bring the exponent down, so it would be 3a plus 5b. And then we take uh, 1 away from the exponent. So we'd have 3a plus 5b minus 1. So that there represents the derivative of this function. And notice that this is the same as what we have to show. So that way is one way that we can do the question really quick. Just simplify the y value, then apply the power rule and then you get the derivative right there. Now let's say your teacher gives you the exact same question and they say that you're not allowed to simplify the function y, that you have to find the derivative another way. Well, that makes the question a lot harder. So the second way you would do it is that you would bring that denominator up to the numerator and then use the product rule to uh, find the derivative because if you notice, this whole expression here is like to the power of 1. So if we bring it up to the numerator, well, that would just make that 1 here a uh, negative 1. But now notice how we have two functions. We got this x to the power of 4a plus 3b, and then we have this x to the power of a minus 2b all to the power of negative 1. And then we can actually simplify this second part of the function by multiplying that negative 1 uh, or distributing that negative 1 into a minus 2b. So the signs would just switch and we'd be left with negative a plus 2b or 2b minus a. And then that first function stays as is. So we're multiplying two functions, or y is equal to two functions multiplied by each other. So when we find the derivative of y, we can use the product rule. So then when we do that, when we apply the product rule, we would take the derivative of that first function, which is here, so we just brought that exponent down and then subtracted one, multiplied by that second function left as is, plus the first function left as is, times the derivative of that second function. And the derivative of the second function like we did with the first function, we just apply the power rule. Bring the exponent down, so we got the 2b minus a in brackets, and then we have x to the power of that same exponent minus one. That's the power rule. So this here is the derivative of this function. So now let's try to simplify this. Well, notice how in this first multiplication expression, we're multiplying two exponents with the same base. And when we do that, we can just add the exponents. So if we take 4a plus 3b minus 1 times, or uh, add 2b minus a, when we add those exponents together, we would get x to the power of 3a plus 5b minus 1. And then that 4a plus 3b just stays in brackets in the front. And then here, same thing. We're multiplying two exponents that have the same base, so then we can just add the exponents. So if we do that, we get that exponent of 3a plus 5b minus 1, and then that 2b minus a we just keep in front as well. 
And notice how this x to the power of 3a plus 5b minus 1 appears in both of these expressions. It's the same exponent. So we can factor it out because it's a like term. And then if we do that, if we factor it out in this bracket here, so we're continuing this uh, question up here, by the way, you'd be left in the bracket with 4a plus 3b, which is this first bracket, plus this 2b minus a. And then if you simplify that square bracket there, and let's actually bring that square bracket out in front, 4a minus a is 3a, and then 3b plus 2b is 5b, and then we're just left with that same exponent, x to the power of 3a plus 5b minus 1. And we can't simplify it anymore, but notice how that is what we are trying to get to, and it's what we got when we did it the first way. So two different ways. First way, a lot easier. You can just simplify the y value because the exponents are the same. And then you could just apply the power rule on this and get the derivative really quickly. But let's say your teacher makes the question harder and says that you can't simplify the original function. Well then you're gonna have to take that expression in the denominator, bring it up, make it a uh, power of negative one, and then apply the product rule because it's two functions that are being multiplied by each other in the original function. When you do the product rule, when you do all this crazy algebra, you would end up with that same derivative. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.